before we get into some customer service tips, I'm first going to talk about your most important customer service action, and that is installing the credit card terminal. The way that you complete the installation process will determine your future relationship with that client. If it's an easy process, and if you appear to be knowledgeable, then they're going to be feeling great about their decision to switch to you. If it's a hassle, and if everything is a mess, and if their terminal is down for hours and hours at a time, they're not going to trust you and they're going to regret switching to your service. Now, first of all, let me say a couple things to dispel a few myths. Installing a credit card terminal is extremely easy to do. There's nothing difficult about it. In fact, many of the largest processors in the country sell credit card processing over the phone and they actually have the merchant install their own terminal. That's how simple it is. It doesn't take any expertise. However, there are a few things you can know, a few tips and tricks and things you can do that will help you in the installation process. First of all, when you install the terminal, you need to first understand the difference between the two possible ways to install a terminal. The first one is a reprogram. Now, in a reprogram, you're actually taking their existing credit card terminal and you are reprogramming that terminal with our program. Now, in that case, what that involves is their terminal needs to be hooked up to a dedicated phone line and you're going to call tech support and they're going to walk you through doing a reprogram. I'll come back to that in a minute. The second type of installation, which is far easier, is installing a pre-programmed free merchant placement terminal. Now, I've talked about the free merchant placement program several times during the program because it's a great uh, tool to get the sale. It's a great way to hook someone into signing up is to say, hey, I'll give you a free credit card terminal uh, and they'll come pre-programmed and ready to go. One of the other big benefits of that program, especially for new agents, is that when you provide them with a free credit card terminal, you have the ability to receive that terminal pre-programmed. So all you have to do is take the terminal, plug it in, run a test transaction, and you're good to go. Um, and that's really nice. You don't have to do any reprogramming of the terminal. Um, so that's another thing that you can do. Now, we're going to back up a second. I'm going to go through both of these individually and give you detailed instructions on how to do this. Let me first talk about a free terminal because it's by far the easiest uh, in installation to do. So just make sure you understand what we're talking about. You have set up a new account, you've entered everything into the ELAP, and you've put down that you want free merchant placement, and they're going to deliver a free, hopefully, a Verifone VX510 terminal is what you've chosen. I like that terminal. I think it's the easiest one to use and the easiest one to install. Now, what's going to happen is they're going to ship that terminal to you at your house. Unless you said send it to the merchant, they're going to send it to you. I like having it come to me because then I know that it arrived and I can go do the install. You're then going to unbox the terminal. Let me give you a tip. Make sure you have a phone line, a landline, that you have access to, whether it be at your house or your office. It's a really nice thing to have because it gives you a chance to plug in the terminal, especially your first one, and kind of test it out a little bit before you go to the merchant's place of business. So you unpackage the terminal, you plug it in. Now, when you plug that terminal in, all you have to do on the VX570 or VX510 is simply swipe your card and you can run a transaction. And you want to run a test transaction on your credit card for like one penny. So you want to run like a one penny sale just to make sure that it's working correctly, make sure the receipt prints out the way the customer wants it to. Again, I highly recommend running one test transaction at your office because that way you can make sure it's working correctly. But if you don't have access to a landline, that's fine. Go to the merchant's place of business, open it all up, set it up there, get it ready to go, plug in the phone line, plug in the power cord to it, then run a test transaction. Now, if you have installed a COM server, what that means is that the terminal is internet capable. It can take an internet connection or it can take a dial-up phone line connection. If it is enabled for that, then when the first screen comes up, it's going to say COM server or credit debit. You're going to want to click on credit debit. Once you do that, you can simply swipe a card, enter the amount of the transaction, which again, if it's a test transaction, make it one penny or two pennies, hit the green enter button, and that's all you have to do. Then you want to show that to the merchant. Show them how you swipe the card, 
hit the amount, hit the green enter button. Now, when you get to terminal, it will also come with a laminated cheat sheet that will show you many other types of transactions. Make sure that you run several of those, like refunds, uh, things like that. Don't actually run a refund on their terminal, but go through and look at those different prompts and make sure you understand them so you can show them to the customer when you're there. When I install a terminal that's pre-programmed, I do one test transaction or for credit. If they have a pen pad, I do one for debit. Then if they have a check reader, I'm going to do one for the check reader. So I'm going to always do at least one test transaction for each credit, debit, and check scanner if I have all three installed. An average merchant, all they have is a credit card machine, so you would just do one test transaction for a penny and make sure that it's running correctly. Then tear off the receipt, hand that to the merchant, and say, please look at this and make sure it's correct. There is header information at the top of the receipt. They need to make sure their phone number is correct, their address is correct, their business name is correct, and all that's ready to go. Then you can leave the business, you're all set. Now, that's the first type of installation. It's very simple. The second type of installation is more complex. But if you follow the steps I give you, it's really not much more difficult. What you need to do on a reprogram, again, that's where you've made a sale, but they're going to, the merchant is going to keep their existing credit card terminal. You're simply going to reprogram their existing credit card terminal. If that's what you're going to do, then there's a couple steps that you need to take. First of all, understand that it is going to take between 15 minutes and an hour and a half for the terminal to completely download the new program. So, it's always best to do the reprogram at your office if you can. Purchase a spare VX510 terminal. If you do that, you'll always have one that you can use as a spare terminal. And this is the process that I follow if I'm doing a reprogram. I first call tech support with my spare VX510 terminal. Then, I would get that terminal programmed for the merchant so that it's ready to go, just like a free terminal would be ready to go. Then, I go to the merchant's place of business, I install the pre-programmed VX510, and I take their old terminal and say, I'm going to reprogram this back at my office, and I'll bring it back to you tomorrow. I give them a very quick refresher course on the VX510 to make sure they know how to run a few transactions on it. Then I take their terminal back to my office where I can reprogram it, set it off to the side, let it do its thing, and get back to work. I don't want to be standing in the place of business for 45 minutes waiting for the file to download. Now, if you don't have the money yet to buy a spare VX510 uh, or you don't have a landline at your office, that's fine. You can do a reprogram at the place of business. You're just going to need to adjust your schedule accordingly. Now, Certain terminal types are going to take a little longer to download than others. Hypercom terminals, as a general rule, take around 45 minutes to an hour and a half to do a full download. Whereas Omni terminals and first data terminals tend to take about 15 to 20 minutes. Here's how you do a reprogram. Go to the place of business, call tech support at the number I provided, let them know the merchant ID number. Uh, which you should have when you uh, submitted the application they gave you a merchant ID. They're going to want the last six digits of the merchant ID number if it's global or the entire merchant ID number if it's on first data. You call tech support, you give them that merchant ID number, and you say, I'm at the merchant's place of business, the terminal is plugged in, and I'm ready to do the reprogram. Tech support will then walk you through doing the reprogram step by step. It's not difficult. They will walk you through it step by step, and it really only takes about two or three minutes to get everything done that you need to do. Then you're going to start the download, and after that, you just have to wait for about 30, 45 minutes for all of the programming to download. Then they're ready to go. You run a couple test transactions, and you're on your way. Now, don't worry. You can call tech support as much as you need. If you get done with the reprogram and say, man, I don't even know how to run a transaction on here, call tech support and say, hey, walk me through running a test transaction on this terminal and they'll walk you through all the training of how to operate that terminal successfully so that you in turn can train the merchant on how to operate the terminal successfully.